details uh, you guys remember that uh, this is the sighting arm of the Brenton and uh, these are the sides of the Brenton these two are the sides uh, and uh, we use these uh, sighting arms and these sides to measure the orientation of various features and uh, similarly plunge and tank are also measured by these two and mm -hmm. then you go to the yes so there are some features uh, that are linear features as you guys remember we discussed about the striations it's like uh, we have some of these features here These are different lines that are present and they indicate the moment of uh, glacier. So what do you do? Uh, the, the first thing that we will see is the trend. We want to see what is the trend or what is the direction of moment of the glacier. And uh, and we will uh, try to understand uh, the direction of the these lines on a surface and what we do uh, we use the sighting arm of the pattern uh, you guys remember the sighting arm is the this one this sighting arm and what we do we just make it uh, parallel to the direction of the feature so we just place the Brenton here and uh, we just the sighting arm of the Brenton we make it parallel to the direction of the feature and then we try to level the compass and hold the needle And then we read the white end of the compass. And that white end, you guys remember. This is the, the white end. This is the white end of the red compass. Yeah. These two things we use for uh, measuring the trend of the rock. And these uh, are used to making the linear feature that is mostly like glacial striations, or it can also be uh, that uh, we have some uh, lineation that is produced by the uh, arrangement of pebbles, or it can be other features as well. So you can see here very fine thin lines that are present here that are present here and uh, can be the white end of the compass needle the, this is if this is the dial and then we have a needle in which the one side of the needle has a white color and then you read the outer scale the clino scale that is the outermost scale like for example if it is 30 or 36 or whatever you just note down the reading and that will be the trend of your rock it is very easy to measure the trend in the field the other important feature that uh, we can measure with the With the Brenton is the measurement of the plunge. Now, what you do, uh, you just place the Brenton and uh, you just place the side. For example, if this is your Brenton, you just place the side of the Brenton parallel to the feature. Like if this is the feature, then you will place 
is printed parallel to this feature and you will measure the same remember the uh, jab hum discuss kar rahe the we were discussing about the tip and we discussed that uh, in the tip uh, we we just place the two sides of the printer aur aapke wahan par ek dial hota hai that is on the back side of the printer and you rotate that dial and uh, you try to make the uh, declinometer as uh, like let's see and go back to the printer itself so there we have the okay so this dial actually moves from behind ye iske back side pe we have uh, screw we just uh, rotate it and then we try to measure this using that let's see this so that's how we normally measure the plunge as well as okay remember for uh, plunge you have to place the sides along this line the sides of the printer however for your uh, trend you have to use your uh, sighting arm the printer and then it has the arm of it you just make it parallel to the direction of the feature that you can make here and then you just read the right end of the similarly uh, the plunge is very similar to what we do it for dip you make the sides of the print there is a problem of uh, internet and uh, because of that let's go back to the slide where we were before our finishes okay uh, after uh, features of uh, trend and plunge we see how different values can be and how we normally describe it in terms of values we have the short hand notation in which uh, 25 by 150 means 25 is the plunge and 150 is the uh, trend okay how we read it we just read it plunge 25 degrees towards the bearing of 150 degree now if we see how it can be uh, located on our dial let's see and go back okay and now you can see that uh, we have uh, zero and uh, movement of all these degrees until we reach 360 the so bearing is any value from 0 to 360 and similarly the the lower dial that we use for dip we also use it for plunge and in plunge as well we just